Last summer, while I'm studying linear algebra, a friend asks me what linear algebra is. Linear algebra involves matrices, cofactor expansions, dimensions of eigenspaces. How do I explain that? Those intimidating words describe simple equations, the kind you studied in middle school. I explained to my friend, linear algebra is the study of simple equations. My friend responds, for this you had to go to college? The more math and science I've studied, the more explanations I've needed to tell and hear. The more I've studied numbers, the more I've needed words. Often, the number world seems divorced from the word world but the skills and values of one overlap with the skills and values of the other. I'm going to illustrate that overlap by sharing what I've learned about communication by studying math and science. Then I'm going to share or suggest ways for number people to approach words and word people to approach numbers. My quantum mechanics professor began some lectures with, I'd like to tell you a story. Once upon a time, two electrons lived in a box. Each electron has a characteristic called spin. Think of spin as eye color, supposing only two eye colors exist. One electron has blue eyes, one type of spin. The other electron has brown eyes, the other type of spin. A certain equation describes these spins. Knowing that equation, we can find another equation that describes the electrons. That equation reveals that the electrons live close together. This closeness allows certain molecules to exist. Knowing about these molecules, we can learn about other molecules and learn why we exist. Forget the details of what I've said. Remember that I've told a story. What I've said has a beginning, a middle, and an end. It has a setting, it has characters, no comments, please, about what viewing electrons as characters says about physicists' people skills. <laughs> Often, I can't understand a number idea until I tell its story. Combing through the tangles in the plot, I comb out the tangles in my understanding. I tell stories even if I understand equations just by looking at them. When I write, I see the material from a different point of view. Studying math and science, I've had to ramp up my storytelling skills. I've also learned to appreciate conciseness. My electrons in a box story is long. Anyone who listens to that story does not want to hear one word more than necessary. Enough said about conciseness. <laughs> On to precision. When I hear precision in a math science context, I think of a number of digits after a decimal point, or a contrast between precision and accuracy. Precision also describes the use of the right word in the right place. In that linear algebra course, I wrote proofs. Two types of claims I proved are if statements and only if statements. An if statement has the form A if B. An only if statement has the form A only if B. One might think that sticking an only in or taking an only out doesn't change a sentence's meaning. But an if statement's proof can be radically different from an only if statement's proof. I finished that linear algebra course hyper aware of the word only. This hyper awareness has helped me in conversations. Suppose I wanted to say, I study only physics. Before taking linear algebra, I might have said instead, I only study physics. The first sentence, I study only physics, means that the requirements for my major fill my course schedule. The second sentence, I only study physics, can mean that I don't watch movies, I don't talk to friends, I don't sleep, I only study physics. The first sentence means I have a major to complete. The second sentence can mean I have no life. <laughs> the first sentence is true. The second sentence often seems true, <laughs> but not always. Storytelling, conciseness, and precision play important roles not only in the word world, but also in the number world. 
The same is true of analogies, attention literature lovers, and argumentation, attention philosophers and perspective lawyers. Word people, don't let calculus give you conniptions. If you don't understand a number idea, maybe telling a story would help or comparing the unfamiliar to something familiar. Number people, don't panic about essays. Maybe you can expand your comfort zones from numbers to words by explaining numbers. Everyone, draw confidence from your skills and values. If we do, this overlap between the number world and the word world can add new dimensions to our lives. And if the new dimension in your life relates to the dimensions of eigenspaces in linear algebra. Good luck explaining what you're studying to your friends. Thank you.